Okay, how's it going folks? And uh, today I have a, another monitor to show you. And um, once again, running in conjunction with uh, an XRGB2. Got several of these. And uh, I have a modded uh, US, uh, it's region free now, but uh, modded uh, PS1 console. So the PS1 is hooked up to the XRGB uh, via JP21 pin RGB, that's what the inputs on these devices are. And uh, of course the output is VGA to this monitor, so basically we're taking the low res uh, 320 by 240p signal and um, using the F-scan converter to uh, line double it up to um, 640 by 480p VGA. And with this magical little box, we are able to add these gorgeous looking scan lines, which of course you would not natively get on a monitor such as this one, but uh, yeah, fantastic looking picture again, is it not? Uh, once again, uh, I will kind of preface everything by saying that um, it's not quite as good as what you're going to get when you use this type of device with what it was intended to be used on, a uh, 31 kilohertz uh, VGA PC CRT. I mean, it's uh, when you, you're using one of these devices on one of these monitors, it's, uh, it's I have a Sony PVM, uh, you know, a low res 15 kilohertz monitor, and although these are 31 kilohertz. Uh, VGA CRTs, when you're using this with them with true RGB, I mean, they're monitors, so they're of fantastic quality. I mean, it's uh, on par with what a PVM can do. But uh, anyway, today the monitor I'm gonna be showing you, uh, another LCD, like I said, this is a Samsung Sync Master 213T. <laughs> Check out that picture, man. I mean, it's uh, it's quite good, I must say, isn't it? Beautiful looking scan lines on there. And uh, yeah, I just kind of got this one out of storage, kind of dusted it off, so it's a little bit uh, filthy. You need to kind of clean the screen off. Hasn't been used in quite some time, but uh, if you're, you know, you've been watching my channel for a while, you're, you've probably seen this one over the years. I mean, I. I think I initially demoed this with uh, an Atomos Wave motherboard uh, running Dolphin Blue on it uh, five or six years ago at this point. It's been a while, but uh, yeah, this monitor is still going strong. Um, so it's uh, the awesome thing about it is it's uh, a 4-3 uh, aspect ratio monitor, so perfect for uh, you know retro gaming. And uh, another cool feature about this monitor is, as you can see, it is in uh, vertical Tate mode. So uh, yeah, it does have a, a built-in rotate mechanism on it. And of course, um, it was designed for you to kind of get this portrait landscape mode for actually uh, reading documents and things like that. But you know, for uh, folks into games, you can uh, easily you know rotate this thing and uh, play vertical monitor arcade games or uh, ports of them to various consoles on it and uh, yeah quite easy to rotate so pretty awesome and it rotates uh, in reverse so um, as you can see I've got uh, Namco Museum Encore running on there and kind of uh, a weird uh, idiosyncrasy with the Namco arcade games back in the day is they would um, display the vertical arcade games that they produce would kind of be like in reverse Tate mode from what uh, most games would be uh, Tate the other way. Now, um, you know, a lot of arcade PCBs did give the uh, operator the ability to just kind of flip a dip switch and kind of flip screen so, you know, it wouldn't matter which way you had your uh, monitor rotated in your cab. But yeah, for these ports of these games, and uh, for, you know, originally a lot of the uh, PCBs that Namco did, they would only Tate, they would only be vertical in this kind of reverse position, so kind of strange, but actually quite convenient that the uh, SyncMaster 213T uh, only rotates that way, so hey, uh, it's, you know, kind of a good, in a way, uh, dedicated setup for uh, Namco vertical monitor games, as you can see. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, I believe the native resolution is uh, 1600 by 1200 on this thing. Uh, not really such an important uh, statistic, but uh, yeah, it's a TFT monitor. And um, yeah, I've had this for a real long time. I believe they initially started producing these monitors uh, way back in 2002 or 2003, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, 
that is a, a cool thing about it. You can see it, it is a, it's a 4.3 monitor. Um, you really, uh, they aren't really, well, nobody's producing 4.3 uh, LCD monitors anymore. So you can see it there. Uh, let's fire up the game. Just figured I would get this out since I kind of did a video on the uh, this Dynex behind it the other day. Typically speaking on this channel, we kind of demo and review uh, CRT monitors, but uh, yeah, why not do a few LCD monitors as well? Like I said, uh, even with these devices, the quality is not going to be quite as good as with a 15 kilohertz CRT just uh, you know running via S-Video or RGB component, um, and also not as good as uh, a 31 kilohertz CRT you know via RGB. The XRGB unit, but it actually still, uh, I, I would say this uh, is a, you know, quite a fine substitute. Really, it uh, looks pretty good. Cool thing about the uh, Namco Museum games is uh, you get this little, at least with this one, you can see they kind of have this little section where you select the games, and you can actually see like an old school cabinet, little digital image of it there. Rolling Thunder, and this is a great collection. It's got you know Wonder Momo, Rolling Thunder, Rompers, which is a, a vertical monitor, great for this monitor here. Uh, kind of a neat little puzzle game, which is a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, other than Rolling Thunder, perhaps maybe the other greatest thing about it is Dragon Saber. Uh, yeah, in my opinion, maybe the best uh, vertical monitor shooter that Namco ever produced so it's a fantastic game so I don't know we uh, select it here and you can see it's you have to talk today it once you go into the, uh, the options of the game so we'll do that to get it to display correctly We've got something else running back here uh, maybe we'll get to that in a moment but <laughs> check that picture out I mean it's quite nice isn't it uh, I gotta say uh, great color on this thing and um, you know it line doubles the uh, 240p up to 480p VGA uh, pretty much pixel perfect look at that it's awesome so what is the button that you so if you get triangle um, you can go into this uh, screen uh, adjust mode and you know normal which it's in right now Yoko mode but we want to go over to Tate, or uh, they're just calling it arcade here. So you press circle and you get this message. Like, Don't rotate your monitor or you'll do all these terrible things. You'll release all these terrible Oni and Yokai on the world. But no, and then it says uh, down here, Akedo uh, modo de pure shimasu ka? Which is just like asking, uh, would you like to play in arcade mode? And uh, so, get off. Yeah, go to hi. Yes. There you go. So now we're in uh, full blown Tate mode, and I mean, check it out. Man. It's a, gotta say, uh, quite a nice picture for a you know LCD monitor, uh, the XRGB2. Uh, fantastic little device. Really does the trick quite well. If you're looking at this, you'll be able to tell. I mean, fantastic, right? Love the. Uh, Really great color saturation on this monitor. You know, I think if uh, you had uh, a monitor like this one and you, you know, didn't have any CRTs, uh, if you were able to uh, use a upscan converter, you'd be really quite pleased with the results. Um, obviously, again, I'll have to kind of, you know, obviously you're going to get a little bit more perhaps input lag with uh, using this device with an LCD than you would with a, a VGA a CRT, but uh, that's kind of to be expected. And uh, in any event, not that I've actually gone to the length of uh, testing that input lag on any of these, but just, uh, you know, giving it a quick play on it, it seems to respond pretty decently, you know? I think you'd be pretty happy with it overall. But 
Lots of iron. Yep. So I've got uh, back here um, on the PS4, and I've been lazy. I need to, to play a game like this. I'd rather take it down on my uh, large 55 inch LCD downstairs, but uh, kind of got the PS4 up here with uh, the Hori stick for Darius Burst. Nice little arcade cabinet type of setup. But anyway, yeah, I got Neo running on it, and I actually just fired this up and kind of played a little bit of it um, just the other day. You know, it's funny. I was meaning to, I had intended to start up a game of Dark Souls. As uh, you guys probably know, I'm a huge fan of Demon Souls, beaten it many times over, but I've had Dark Souls for many years and never really played it. Uh, so was going to do that, and then just uh, like that same day, From Software actually put out a message that they're releasing a remastered version on the PS4, and that's coming out uh, May 25th of this year. So I thought, well, maybe we'll uh, put a hold on that and just wait for that version. And uh, since I've had Neo laying around for quite some time, I get all these games that I don't have time to play. Uh, I was like, you know, I'm just feeling like kind of, I don't know immersing myself in one of these Souls games lately. Just kind of in that mood and uh, yeah, so I uh, fired this one up and uh, it's pretty cool, you know? I um, I don't know, one thing that annoyed me about it is uh, it looks and feels and plays like a, a Souls from software game, but um, the control scheme is just like totally off if you've played, you know, hundreds of hours of Demon Souls or Dark Souls. So I had a little bit of trouble adjusting to that and I'm not sure if that's gonna be too off-putting for me to just say like ah, you know screw this I mean I don't have a lot of time and patience for uh, longer larger games especially when there's a little kind of annoying impediment such as that one but we'll see I mean uh, the theme in the world um, you know Edo period Japan I mean absolutely very appealing to me so um, stylistically the game's beautiful so I, I hope I can actually get into it But I just kind of wanted to show you this really quickly. I don't know. <laughs> Rambling on a bit at the moment. But yeah, for the, uh, you know, these Namco um, museum games for the PS1, uh, really all uh, arcade perfect uh, ports of the games. Oh, I'm trying to exit <laughs> one hand. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, this is, uh, I really love, uh, uh, Valkyrie no Densetsu on, on, uh, this, this, uh, Namco Museum compilation right here, Volume 5, um, uh, Dragon Spirit is on there as well, um, and then, you know, on, on Encore, which was, like, basically Volume 6, they had the, uh, sequel to, uh, Dragon Spirit, Dragon Saber, and, I mean, it is a fantastic game, uh, really is. Uh, that was not one that was ever released in the States, and I know, I'm pretty sure, at least back in the day in Japan, walking around in the arcades in Akihabara, I'm pretty sure I came across it on one of the shooting game floors in uh, various arcades, but I don't really think I ever played it. Um, so, i uh, recently been playing it, um, this arcade perfect version on Namco Museum Encore, and my god, it is... You know, I love shooters, and this is an amazing game. A 1990 release, just super advanced Namco arcade hardware for the time. Uh, the music is just, uh, it's just like mind-blowingly perfect. I mean, it, it's an awesome game. Now, uh, you know, Dragon Spirit was released in arcades in the States, so, you know, a bunch of people probably have memories from that one as, uh, as well, but uh, here at least. But yeah, I mean, this game, Dragon Saber, since we didn't get it in the States, and a lot of people probably haven't played it, um, it is awesome. It blows the doors off of Dragon Spirit, I gotta tell you, so. Just... And, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, I don't need to mention it, but, uh, this, uh, you know, old LCD computer monitor, it doesn't have speakers or anything, so we're not, you know, you've probably noticed 15 minutes into the video, we're not getting any sound or anything, and, uh, yeah, I just don't have any external speakers hooked up to it at the moment, so apologize about that. But the main point is to get the, the visual here, and uh, you can see that this, uh, what I think about a 2003 model, a uh, 4.3 Samsung SyncMaster uh, 213T LCD monitor, 
uh, in conjunction with uh, XRGB2, a Micum Soft Upscan Converter. Uh, really, really does, does the trick quite nicely. But uh, yeah, check out this game, um, name it. If you don't want to uh, pick up the uh, Namco Museum Encore, I don't know, I picked this one up a little while back. Uh, how long ago? Maybe a couple of years. Sometimes I don't get to playing games for years after I picked them up. But uh, yeah, um, I think it might be getting a little bit pricier now. I Just with the trend and craziness and the retro gaming market i would assume that but uh, don't quote me maybe you can still pick it up for a affordable price i'm not entirely certain you know, gorgeous images at the beginning in the demo attract sequence to sort of set the mode uh for the story up It's kind of a long demo track sequence with the little story, so you don't... Okay, I wanted to just get some gameplay going. Let's see. Gorgeous game. And it's difficult to... I think it's a little bit more playable than uh, Dragon Spirit. And it's just overall, like, the graphics are way better. The, the sound department um, just blows the original out of the water. So just a more fun overall uh, much more enjoyable experience. But anyway, I, I'm, this video is going on long enough, you know, just these recent LCD videos, like I said, I like to kind of just have fun and play around with all the different monitors I have, try to achieve, you know, best possible video quality with each of them. and. Uh, these are actually fairly close to uh, the CRTs, I, I will say, but um, not not quite on that level. I mean, goes without saying, but I think like for an LCD, you'd be pretty impressed, you know, if you uh, needed a replacement or something like that. You know, I'm looking at it right now and saying that, and then next video I'll have uh, have this thing up close to one of these or a different one and it'll, like blow my mind why I haven't turned them on enough few weeks here I was like holy crap <laughs> they look so much better but you know you can expect that from a CRT monitor but anyway guys um yeah I suppose that's it so take care talk to you soon